I'm going to see bring you in-depth coverage this morning. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung joining us live in studio this morning. Mayor, thanks for joining us to talk Thank about so a much. bunch Thank of you. different topics. I want to first begin with the presidential race. We just got the latest on campaign 2016. Another big win for Donald Trump in Arizona last night. So Mitt Romney, Chris Christie, uh, they both um, endorsed you in your run for governor. Do you, but obviously now they both have a difference of opinion on who they're supporting. Do you plan to make any public endorsement before the primary in Rhode Island? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm 0 for 2 right now. <laughs> I was a supporter of Christy uh, as well as Marco Rubio. So I think I'm going to just take a wait and see approach. It's lining up to be a brokered convention. I want the best candidate that comes out of that convention that's going to have an excellent shot at defeating Hillary Clinton and making sure that our country is back to economic prosperity. That's a big concern for me. Now, real quickly, we're hearing um, that, you know, really for the first time in a long time, Rhode Island is going to get some attention where you've got Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump, both planning to make campaign stops here in Rhode Island. Your thoughts on that? No, it's certainly exciting, especially as we're coming into this uh, brokered, uh, contested convention that's on the line. Our 19 delegates that are here in Rhode Island matters. You know, the smallest state in the past, we've always had that debate, but mm. we're lined up perfectly so that the candidates are going to be here in Rhode Island. All right, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about some of the Cranston-specific issues right now. Uh, your city announced that it's instituting a code red notification a system to alert residents about an emergency. Tell us a little bit more about this program. Well, one of the things that we're doing citywide is making sure that there's a lot more technology for people to be responsive uh, to what's going on within the city. This code red technology is another resource that our fire department, our EMA, first responders, public safety officials are going to have an opportunity to notify residents when there's emergencies, disasters, missing children alerts, so that our residents can be informed, can be a partner with us. Is it an app for your phone, or how does it work exactly? Absolutely. It's an app that you can download on your phone, mm -hmm. but people also can uh, opt in to get weather alerts, severe weather alerts, and get notifications as well. They can go onto our city website, cranstonri.com, and sign up in, uh, for that type of notification. I've got the app on my personal uh, <laughs> iPhone as well. Okay. Uh, this week also we heard about a debate over the uh, Veterans Memorial Ice Rink in Cranston. Some people uh, very vocal at a recent meeting about the conditions that they are calling uh, unsatisfactory. What are your thoughts and is there a plan to address those concerns? Well, absolutely. And that's why we went out for an RFP over a year and a half ago to uh, find someone not only to operate the rink, to but to build a second facility. They're an old facility. And that's one of the unfortunate things that we have, not only in Cranston, but facing many cities and towns, these older infrastructures. We're addressing a lot of those uh, problems that are uh, that have been raised. We've been doing it on an ongoing basis, investing. We put in new dollars for chillers, where, you know, uh, the carpeting that's in there. We bought uh, two Zambonis that are slightly used to upgrade from the older ones. So we're putting the dollars back into the centers, but that's why we're in the RFP process to try to see if we can get someone from the outside to not only run it, but build a better facility for us. All right, Mayor Fung, we appreciate it. Mayor Fung will also be joining us once a month to address all things Cranston and other issues as well. We appreciate Absolutely. you joining us, and you can find this interview at WPRI.com.